Hi everyone, Zach here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Chainlink or Link, one of uh, my favorite cryptocurrencies to talk about. I think it has a great uh, long-term future. And uh, if you haven't checked out my latest video on VeChain, make sure you check that out too. Uh, VeChain price prediction video, put that out uh, yesterday. So um, check that out if you haven't already. Before we get into Chainlink, which is currently trading, it's uh, $31.17 down a little bit uh, today. Um, not as big of a sale as we got uh, the last week or so where it was down in the teens, which I think that's just an unbelievable price to get Link. But before we get into it, um, this is not um, financial advice. It's just for entertainment uh, purposes only and informational purposes only. So take what you hear today, do some of your own research and let that guide uh, your future investing decisions um, with all of crypto, all of stocks. So with Chainlink, um, as I just previously mentioned, we just had a great buying opportunity um, on Link, which is currently the market, uh, it's currently number 13 in the market rank in market capitalization. We've seen a nice increase. You know, I've said uh, a couple of things about Chainlink in the past. I think it's certainly destined to be a top 10 um, market cap, um, you know, price point. And I, I think it'll be there for quite some time, um, in, in my opinion. I think once Link, uh, you know, kind of gets going and, you know, people understand how it's, uh, how it's going to be used in the crypto space, um, and we're going to get into that with uh, smart contracts as well um, as, as kind of the big catalyst for Link. I think this is going to get upwards to um, $100, you know, per coin. So, and we're going to get into a little bit more of that. So here was the seven day. We kind of bounced off the 23rd, but here's what I was talking about. You got this thing way down at $16, which is just an unbelievable price on Lincoln. Look how quickly it's retraced um, and got way back up to, um, you know, 32, sitting at 31 right now. The all-time high is $52.88. And, you know, I think obviously that was set just in May, just this month. Uh, but I think, you know, once this bull market comes back, because I don't think we're finished in this bull market. This was just a nice little dip within it. Um, I think this thing can definitely set all-time highs later this year, um, in my opinion. So let's get into a little bit more detail on Link. Um, what is Link and what it's worth? So Link is Chainlink's native token. The token is meant to help finance and growth of the project and is similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Both of these cryptocurrencies work on their respective blockchains, just like BTC and ETH act as an incentive for users to mine, Link does the same. So the Link token actually launched back in 2017 with a price just under 20 cents, remained under $1 until the breakout in 2019. Here in 2020 though, uh, like a lot of tokens, like a lot of crypto assets, um, Link had a huge, huge rise in price. In fact, the price increased from $2, just under $2 in early 2020 to a high of 36 on February 20th. Of course, that new all-time high well past the $36 mark, right? Uh, just one more time, $52.88 now for Link. So um, they talk about, should you invest in Link? Uh, Link looks to be an important technology as cryptocurrencies continue to evolve. Having an Oracle such as Link in place will be key to the long-term stability and viability of cryptocurrency in general. So a lot of people out there asking, well, what's an Oracle? Uh, blockchain oracles are third-party services that provide smart contracts. Smart contracts are peer-to-peer -peer transactions, uh, which kind of take out the middle person, which are usually the banks, right? Uh, so blockchain oracles are third-party services that provide smart contracts with external information. Now, they also serve as kind of a bridge between the blockchain and the outside world. Uh, oracles are vital within this ecosystem, the blockchain ecosystem, because they broaden the scope in which smart contracts can operate in right um in multiple different areas where smart contracts can operate in so Chainlink is definitely looking into the future of smart contracts into the future of how um oracles are you know a vital part of the process um the blockchain ecosystem so we scroll down here a little bit and link may be a sound investment if you believe Chainlink will become the industry standard as the most widely decentralized oracle network so whoever can have the most decentralized Oracle network could be um, a big winner uh, in the crypto space in the next five to 10 years. And Link has been working on their Oracle network um, for quite some time. So that's just something to consider when you're thinking about Link. How about some price predictions? So 
Ch can Chainlink 2.0, so similar to Ethereum 2.0, Chainlink is coming out with a Chainlink 2.0. Can this lift the price of Link here in the future? So right now it carries a market cap of right around 10 billion. Uh, this article just put out a few days by Investor Place. Chainlink recently announced the release of the new white paper. In this white paper, the company outlined a shift towards smart contracts, right? Accordingly, these changes have paved the way for a larger number of use cases. Users can now utilize smart contracts to take advantage of the rise in decentralized finance or DeFi apps and allow for arbitrary uh, executables on its network. So the founder, um, Sergey, is appearing tonight at the consensus conference. So he just uh, went on a few days ago to discuss these changes and to talk about Chainlink 2.0. Uh, he's also presenting how the Oracle networks, here's that word again, will soon expand beyond data delivery and into the world of computation. Uh, so we'll have to continue to watch how that all evolves here in the future. I am definitely invested in Link. I believe in it. I think it's going to be, you know, one of my top 10 cryptocurrencies to watch. And I'm going to put out a video on my top 10 cryptocurrencies to watch moving forward um, some, sometime in the, in the coming days. So Let's also take a look at now some price predictions. So this is always fun, right? This is coinpriceforecast.com. So we could be looking, let's just look at, you know, 2023 is where they have it eclipsing $100. So, you know, that's kind of the big question. When will Link hit one, um, $100? I think, you know, they're showing here in 2021 that we're not going to set all-time highs um, later this year. They're thinking, at least in this prediction, that we're going to come right below that. I'm a little bit more bullish than this. I think we can get up to the $60, $65 range this year on Link and set all-time highs. 2022, they're looking at a year-end price of $82. Um, Mid-year here in 2023, $97. I think a bullish case you know, for Link would be $100 by the end of 2022. Um, they have here $100 by the end of 2023, which I would be okay with as well because I'm planning on holding Link um, beyond 2023 anyway. And um, so, but if, look at this, if we scroll down here, you know, 2030, 2031, you know, we could be looking at a $250 chain link price uh, in 2032. So this is one where a lot of the experts think it will continue to grow, that it's going to be a part of the space uh, for a long, long time. One more article here just coming out uh, recently to Chainlink price forecast link position for new all-time highs. So they're talking about this bull run in particular, and they believe that link can set all-time highs still yet in this bull run. So link price fools bearish investors with a 136% rebound after, after the big crash, leaving the digital asset 50% away from an all-time high. And this V-shaped recovery, which we've seen from a lot of assets in the crypto space, for Link raises the probability that will test all time highs in the medium term. Uh, so not the short term, but maybe a few months from now, the medium term, if the crypto market remains steady and can, we continue this bull run. Now we might head you know, down before we head back up, but I think we're still in this bull run in my opinion. And I think Link is nicely positioned to set some all time highs later this year. So chain link price had collapsed 50%. Of course, a lot of assets did, right? A lot of people um, sold off, but this one quickly came back uh, and you can see that um, in that nice recovery here on the chart. So it got all the way down into the teens, which I just thought it was an unbelievable time to get into Link. You know, I, I myself didn't get in. I wish I could have added on to my position, but, uh, you know, I, I was able to get into some other things that I really liked as well because the entire market crash, you got to kind of make some decisions. Um, where do I want to put this money now that I have to spend? And sometimes you can't get everything you want. But so I had to make some decisions there uh, next time. I'll be looking to add uh, more to my link. So um, hopefully, hopefully you guys got some value here in this video. And uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think about Chainlink moving forward. Um, if you already hold it, what are your plans? What are your ex what's, your, what's your exit strategy? Uh, if you don't hold it, do you have a price that you're looking at uh, in order to get in? I would like to know that. And uh, if you found some value in this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, I just want to say, guys, I really appreciate um, everybody who comes on to the live streams. You guys have been fantastic, um, having a lot of fun doing this. And, you know, I can't wait to continue to create more and more content, listen to all of you and uh, learn from all of you. So, you know, we're building a great community here and um, really, really appreciate it. Um, very grateful for all of you. So uh, with that, um, this is Chainlink, one that I really like and uh, be on the lookout.
for my top 10 cryptocurrencies to invest in now in 2021. And uh, that video will be coming out soon. So thanks again, guys. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.